go get him out of bed? All right, great. <laughs> He's going to say, what the hell? If I get him out of bed and you don't come, I'll be dead man. Did you buy all this? I don't know, but she's, I think that's free. How much is the uh, DVD player? Is this your sale? She's usually the boss. Okay. Make an offer. I'm sure it'll be entertaining. Okay. You gonna take it? Does she give you a price? Five. Yeah, take it. Which is the CD player? You could ask her up front. Okay. How much is the bike? I don't know, maybe five bucks. Okay, I can ask her. Yeah, I, I think that's what she's saying. Very old, you do. She said the VCR was five. I'd also do five on the CD player. Okay. And if the bike's five, I'll definitely take that. Okay. Um, I'd like to still look in the garage if that's okay, and I'll oh, leave this stuff here. Absolutely, sure. Okay, I think I'm ready. So, so I've got... 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Oh, whoa. Yeah. The place is too small for one person. I use every closet in this house. <laughs> and I still have to do the winter clothes downstairs during the summer and... If you're looking for electronics, I have a whole bunch in my basement we're trying to get rid of. Oh yeah, what do you have? Well, you'd have to talk to my husband about that because it looks like a bunch of junk to me. But... All right, yeah. You know what they say? One man's trash is another man's yes. treasure. Well, actually, we cleaned out my brother-in-law's house that passed away, and he's been putting it on marketplaces and stuff, but we still have a lot of it. So. Yeah, I'd love to take a look. Oh, okay. I came to look at his gun. I'm going to go get him out of bed. All right, great. <laughs> he's going to say, what the hell? <laughs> Where are the uh, garage doors open and the flag? Okay, yeah, the Volkswagen? Yeah. In the garage? All right. Come, right? Yeah, I'll, after here, I'll come over. If 
I get him out of bed and you don't come, I'll be dead <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble. I'll be right there as soon as I'm done here. Come on, I forgot to... Usually I lock him in a room. Oh, I'm sure, not. I understand. Come here. It's that little one that won't shut up. Yeah, it's always the little ones that cause so much trouble. He won't come to you. Oh, we got a Sirius XM radio here. We just plugged in yesterday. Oh, yeah? There's cables and six disc holders. All that glassware. Holy cow. Uh, these speakers, I'm keeping them. Okay. And then all of that stuff. That's all going? I just sold a VHS, so that's why this is out. Oh, the VCR player? Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna go swimming, Greg. Okay, honey, have fun. Tell the girls I said hi. Okay. I love your bar setup. I'm sorry? I love your bar setup. Yeah, thanks. This is an old Denon, what's it called? PMA, pre-main amplifier. This is newish. This is from 1979 or 80. This is an early 2000s. Three discs and a copier. What do you want on these blue pieces? The vase and the bowl. Well, they're going for like 400 a piece. I take 300 each. Okay. I think I'll pass, but thank you so much for showing me everything. I okay. really appreciate it. Morning. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with the sale. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great weekend. You too. Back at the shop, there were not too many garage sales today, but the ones I did go to, I actually found some pretty decent stuff. First sale of the day was an estate sale, and I got a handful of things there. There was so many scrapbook supplies and stamps and all that stuff, and I looked through it all and really didn't see much value with that stuff. I think the sell-through rate on that stuff is pretty low, but... Still poked around a lot and found some decent stuff. I got this Samsung uh, DVD VCR combo unit uh, with the remote for five bucks. So this model is, I would say it's the DVD VR375. With the remote, I think I can get a hundred bucks. So that was a great find. I got this big Ingento 1152 uh, wood block uh, paper cutter. This thing is massive, it's really heavy, but I saw them selling for like 70 to $80 plus shipping so yes it'll definitely be a pain to pack and ship and all that but there's money to be made and that was also five bucks also with that sale i got some uh pins uh looked like they were new in the packaging to me there was a lot of new stuff there these are a buck a piece i'm just gonna give them to my daughter she loves the color also bought this rca um cd player vintage new in the box had all the original uh, packaging and everything and this was not a good buy cue the sad music <laughs> I didn't bother looking this up. Uh, I just figured because it's new in the box, it might do well. I paid five bucks and <laughs> there's like 30 to 40 active listings on this thing and only one sold for 17 bucks. So I don't even think it's worth my time listing it. I'm just going to chalk it up to a bad buy and donate it. RCA is not a good brand for this stuff, but I thought since it had the original packaging and everything, it might be okay, but no, bad buy. Got this Monty Python Flying Circus, a uh, complete DVD set for five bucks. This used to go between like $50 and $100. This was a really good set, but prices of DVDs just keep going down and down. So this is only sold for about 20 uh, used. If it's new, it's more like 40 or 50. I had something very unique happen today that has never happened to me before. Uh, another customer at one of the garage sales saw me looking at the electronics and offered to let me come into her house to look at her electronics. I've never had that happen before. Like on the spot, hey, my house is right there. Come take a look. Very unique situation. She was super nice to let me look around a little bit. Uh, her husband has stuff priced pretty high. Um, from what I could tell, he was looking on eBay and just finding like the highest active listing and then knocking off like 10 to 20% off of that. So wasn't anything I could really buy to flip to make a profit, but I was still super grateful to uh, look at everything because it had some really cool stuff. 
Also with that estate sale, this was in the trash at the curb. Uh, this is a vintage Smith Corona Coronet XL typewriter. Uh, it's got the power cord, it's got the case and everything. Really cool blue color. These have a little bit of value, but the problem is the price to ship these things generally is equal to or greater than the value of it. So this thing might be worth between $30 and $50 from what I've seen but it's gonna cost that much to ship. So it kinda, most people don't wanna mess with it. So sell through rate on this was only like 30 or 40%. I might just try to put 20 bucks on it locally and see if somebody wants it. Cause it's a cool piece and I hate to see it go to the trash. Last thing I got at that estate sale is this vintage Schwinn bike. I liked it cause it was yellow. It just has a really cool look to it. It's not in great shape, definitely needs some love. And I just now for the first time saw that this is the Breeze. I don't think these have a ton of value, um, not that there's a big collector's market for these because I think they made a lot of them, but it does have a cool look to it, it was only 5 bucks. I went ahead and just listed it locally on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 25 so we'll see what happens. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. <laughs>